Hello, fellow walkers. I'm taking another detour to our favorite private place so I can talk to you about a, a new topic. This is the interminable path, a secret place that we have in the contemplative forest. And it even has a bench for you here, for you to sit and enjoy while I talk about a topic that I think will be of interest to you in a very private, serene place. Today, I am talking about the inner force that allows you to overcome challenges. And that is something that you didn't earn. You got it. It was inherited epigenetically from 150,000 years that we have as modern Homo sapiens that allows us to, uh, to fight famine, earthquakes, wild animals. And no, not uh, dinosaurs. They were extinct 60 million years before we showed up on Earth. But many vicissitudes, many adversities. And that has been transferred to you as the inner force. And it's available to you, but it has to be cultivated. You could be the weakest, the most fearful person, and it's still there. You still have that inner force. So how do you develop it? Discipline, self-discipline is the vehicle. And that needs to be enriched. And the way you do it first, you prepare the terrain anything else in biocognition. And you prepare the terrain by sitting comfortably in, in a meditative state, just by breathing normally, and then bring back memories of when you were strong. You didn't even know you were using the force. You were strong, and you did something that surprised you. Bring it in, embody it. By that I mean let it land in your body. See how it feels to bring that memory. It's all there. Their emotions, cognitions are all there. Bring them in and experience it. And you do that several times as you're building the terrain. Then you can start using self-discipline to bring that force out. But what will happen, though, is that you have two characters here that we also inherited. And those are the demons and the sirens. And I call them demons and sirens because they're thought patterns that come out that stop us or want to stop us from doing well or from succeeding or from thriving. And that comes from the tribes that keep you within the pale so you don't have to explore out of the pale. So how do you deal with it? Self-discipline? Let's say the demon comes in, and the demon's theme is always fear. Don't do this because this is going to happen. This is what's going to happen to you. You're going to have this problem. It's setting up catastrophes for you, so you won't do it. And then you have the sirens, which tries to keep you from the unpleasant into the pleasant, the hedonic, the pleasure for the sake of pleasure. You want to get up and go to work, and uh, siren... Thought says, uh, I'll sleep another half hour. Or the demon will say, don't go out because it's raining. You might uh, have an accident. Either one. Now that you know you have a terrain of the inner force, you bring it out by first taking a deep breath. <sighs> That's how you recall the force. Then you take action. Take another half hour to sleep? No. Breathe and take action action. Put on your shoes, do whatever you need to do. Action is the key. A breath, the word no, and action. And as you do that, you will develop more and more of that self-discipline guided and fueled by your inner force. This is not uh, just mythological, superfluous analogies. This is real science. I just give it names to make it more mystical. But it's real science. This is neuropsychology at work. So, now you know. You have an inner force. You didn't earn it. It was there. 
is yours. It's your gift. But it needs to be triggered with self-discipline. Enjoy and start cultivating that inner force that's been there with you, no matter how weak you think you are, how inept you think you are, or how beaten you think you are. It's there, and you are a hero. Now, back to my walk. To keep my commitment that I was going for a walk. And there were a few sirens there and a few uh, demons, but I did exactly what I'm asking you to do. And here I am. Enjoy.